Hey kids, it's time for another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming with your host, Mortimer! KKG! KKG! Yay! Hey everybody, and welcome to a new exciting episode of Kitty Cat Gaming. Today I'm playing a new game called Dear Man. Um, I really don't know anything about this game. Uh, I haven't seen any gameplay of it, don't really know anything about it. Uh, all I know is it has something to do with animals and deers. Uh, so I'm gonna try and play this with my controller and see if that helps anything, and if not, I'll switch back to the keyboard. I am a morning person, even though I was visiting my parents. I already had planned to go out for a run in the nearby woods. I like to run. It snowed last night. We don't get snow in Australia. I was totally up for it. Snow in Australia? Dear man. Okay. It was a cold Sunday. Minus five Let's degrees. Look here. I was out for a quick run. I'm guessing we have to shoot the deer, but I don't have any, uh... Okay, so I should be playing with the keyboard. Um, hmm. Which way you want to take? Well, um, you really make it difficult to choose, brah. Wow, the controls oh, aren't very easy to use. Wow. Okay. All right, now I got it. Hi, dears. Are you guys paying attention to which ways I'm going? Because I'm not. The deers are pretty. When I'm running, it doesn't really go any faster. I see a house in the distance. Let's go to the house. I'm guessing it's this way. Do we have to run on the path? No. Okay. I saw a cottage. It seemed abandoned, but the door was open. In Australia? Do they have deer in Inside, Australia? It was mostly empty. I saw a tilted picture frames hanging on the walls and a dusty cupboard by the door. It was a private place, and it looked like someone had recently visited. Mm, little puzzles? Nothing to grab there. Spooky! Shit, what do I hit to interact? I don't know what you want me to hit to interact. Here we go. Okay, a letter? I don't know what is going on with you. You leave early in the mornings and come home late at night. The only time I get to see you is when you are asleep. It's getting hard for me and I'm afraid it's not going to work out between us. And I'm sure you know that and I'm hoping you will do something to make it all good. Emily. Well, that is sad. Okay. Well, uh, I hope Emily got everything sorted out. I'm just gonna go back on my run. Ooh, ooh, hi, dear. Ooh, what is this thing? A box. Oh, dresser. A wooden box was locked. Wooden box was locked, but I managed to open it. Um. Boy, the interact keys sure are kind of fuzzy, huh? Hmm. Well, um, I don't understand why a lot of these, uh, interact keys aren't working, so I guess we'll just pass this one for now. And, uh, keep running! We don't have a path anymore, we're off the path, but I mean, isn't that the good things about life? You just don't take the path that... Take the path less traveled, I think. 
Everything seemed connected. I really like that accent. Alright, we can't go that way anymore. Everything's connected. Woods. Alright, here's arrows. We should follow the arrows, huh? By the way, I am running right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I love deers. When I was in Montana, though, for, like, taxonomy school, though, I finally got to, like, realize, like, why people hate deers. Because they literally stand in the middle of the road and just look at you. And I don't want to run over a deer. I wasn't there long enough to invest in a deer whistle, so... Yeah, if you guys don't know, like, I guess, like, in, uh, Midwestern states or in the Americas or anywhere where there's deer, you can get this thing called a deer whistle for your car, and you put it on the hood of your car, and it makes a high-pitched sound that scares away deer. How cool is that? So you don't have to worry about running into a deer. They'll get scared away by the sound, which is great. Because even if you do manage to hit a deer with your car, it'll do so much damage to your car. Your car will be totaled and you'll probably kill the deer. And you might even get hurt. I remember I took the axe to... Alright. Axe equipped. Oh great, what are we going to do with this axe? Oh, there's a deer shed. Oh, I'm supposed to find five of those, huh? Uh, deers naturally lose their antlers every season or so. Not every season, but once a year. Uh, they, they fall off on their own. Is there anything in here? I found nothing useful in the cabin. Aww. All right. I get how it works now, so I should find that one box again. The wooden box. And open it. All right, let's start running. We got our axe, though I'm not sure how we equip it. Why are we the deer man? Do we lead the deer into battle? It's kind of creepy, huh? Uh, okay, well, we're going the wrong way then. That's where we just were, though. Come here, I just want to talk. All right, well, I can't find a way to equip the axe, so we'll just keep going. Random locations until we find <clears throat> something good. Ooh, is this a graveyard? I think this is a graveyard. Huh. In the middle of the woods, huh? It was oh. a graveyard covered by snow. It reminded me of my uncle. He passed away in a car accident not too long ago. But there was something unusual. I saw an animal's leg sticking out of one of the tombstones. That an animal's leg? Is that the... Hmm. Uh, that is unusual. Someone's burying deer here. Could it be the other deer? <laughs> it's kind of creepy. Because it's all white like this, I wonder if it doesn't matter which direction you go in, if stuff just generally appears in the direction that you're going. Because we haven't seemed to have any trouble finding things in this game so far, despite not knowing which way to go and kind of going weird directions. Oh, is that the cabin we just started off with? Maybe, maybe I was just proved wrong. Oh, we gotta look for deer sheds anyways. Is that the same cabin? Oh yeah, well there's the box, we didn't get to open, so we can open that now. So, I really... get that it's like artsy and stuff, but... Clothes laid in the box? I knew there was something strange happening in these woods. Maybe someone was living here. I can't take them? Hmm. I should be able to wear those clothes. Yeah, I would say uh, someone uh, someone lives out here and they love the deer a lot. Uh, and when two deer love each other a lot, they have a baby deer. And uh, there were a lot of deers. And then uh, they started dying. So someone started burying them around the woods, maybe? 
And this guy calls himself the Deer Man because he loves the deers and respects them. And uh, if you run into him, you get killed. The end. I think I just solved the whole mystery, you guys. Seems like a really well-traveled... Oh, shit! Holy shit. Where'd our axe go? Shit, run! Uh, at him? Don't look back! Don't look back! Uh... Oh shit. We should find a place to hide. Hide. Oh shit. Is that the cabin? Holy shit, I didn't know this was a scary game, dude. I can't see you. Oh shit. Make a sound, guys. I think that thing is gone. I should unlock the door and run back home. Uh, I'll give it a couple more minutes, dude. This is weird. I'm guessing the deer man. Maybe that's his family picture. But those aren't regular deers, though, dude. Those are follow deers. It's the difference between the deers that are out there and the deers that are on this wall. Oh my god, please don't be out here, dude. Alright, let's run home. I don't know how he didn't catch us. I don't remember how to get home. Oh. Oh, fuck you. No, no. Ah! Um. Did he eat us? I woke with a migraine, my vision blurry. I was trying to make sense of what had happened. On my right, the fire burned and a kettle hissed. I saw the thing standing in front of me. Well, that thing turned out to be a man holding a deer mask. He apologized to me and explained he mistook me for a hunter. I assured him that I was not there to hunt, but I questioned why he would have attacked a hunter. He said he had no he had a reason. As he poured a glass of warm water and handed it to me, he asked me if I wanted to know. Yes, I replied. He grew up in a poor family in a small house near these woods. He had a family, a wife and his four-year-old. He hunted wildlife to bring food back home. Oh, we started over again. What? Why did we start over? One cold winter's day, he was hunting deep in the woods. They had only enough food left for one more meal. Oh, we're in a different area now. Maybe we shouldn't live alone in the woods, dude. It was almost dark, and he was far from home. He had to be quick. Uh, ooh, woods are getting way darker now. Getting creepy. Oh, is that another antler shed? Yeah, we need that. Yeah, the woods have changed color now, guys. It's so much darker. So spooky. Much scarier. Why did it give us the axe? After hours of searching, he was exhausted and had nearly lost hope. Where are we going? And then... He oh, found something. The trail stopped. He kept a far distance and drew his gun. Uh. Do I have my rifle equipped? Alright, I guess I'll just walk this way. And then he found something. He kept a far distance. Oh, because I scared it away. Gun. He couldn't miss this shot. He lined up the sights and pulled the trigger. The deer fell to the ground. He ran towards it to pick it up. And right then, a baby came out to lie next to its dying mother. He told me it was the worst feeling of his life. He had destroyed another's family to provide for his own. Oh. As no. tears rolled down his cheeks, he closed his eyes tight and remembered how many lives he'd taken. 
He opened his eyes, and there they were. Every life he took. Mm. Is this a Peter game? What? It was hard for him to comprehend. He couldn't believe his eyes and that he was guilty of what he had done. He threw his gun and ran away. That was the last time he hunted. Ugh. Kind of depressing. But I mean, we're all animals. People eat things to survive. He finished telling his story. As he stood, he reached out to help me up. He thanked me for listening to him. I wanted to know more after hearing his story, but it was time to go. We shook hands. He held on to my grip and con confided in me. I hope you don't think I'm stupid for doing this, he said. Of course not, I replied. Deep down inside, I was so inspired by him. His courage to protect the deer and his bravery risking his life, it really touched me. And right then, we heard a gunshot. Follow me, a hunter is near, he said. Donning his mask, he ran to the sound. My heart pounded. I was afraid, but something made me follow him. Uh, am, I, am I supposed to be following him? Where is he? Uh. Alright, I guess I just run in a direction and hope it's the right one. I came across a frozen lake. I wasn't oh, sure if the oh, deer man oh. went the same way, but I saw no other path. Um. <laughs> okay, so don't fall in the ice. My heart pounded. I was afraid, but something made me follow him. Let's not go into the icy water this time. What? What? Okay. Guess it'll only let us go one way. Oh, another shed. Alright, and we will I stop here. A frozen lake. I wasn't sure if the deer man went the same way, but I saw no other path. I don't have a jump key, so... I guess uh, we should go the other way. like a maze. Thank you, dear, for showing me the way. Oh, shit. No. It's coming from this way. Uh, ooh, I can't see anything. He finished telling his story. As he stood, he reached out to help me up. Oh, shit. I'm guessing we got trampled to death. <laughs> uh, the one deer you're trying to protect killed us. Uh, be sure to subscribe button, and uh, I'll keep playing this game on the next episode of Kitty Cat Gaming. See you guys all next time. Bye, everybody.